Cinema in Minutes. In today's video, we will be going through a war drama film entitled In Darkness. There will be spoilers ahead, chill out and enjoy. The film begins in a room where two men, Poldick and Shepek, are looking for something to steal. As they escape from that house, they see some people running with them in the forest, armed men escorting naked Jewish women who are running scared, which afterward get killed. They enter the manhole and hide the loots in the sewer. After that, Poldick comes home, lying to his wife about coming home late. They cuddle together and indulge in their fleshly temptations to divert her attention. While a group of Jewish men secretly digs a hole underground, on the street, some Jewish people are cleaning the road while being harassed and ridiculed by the German officers. The Jewish men continue to dig a hole beneath their home, led by Mundek. The next day, while Mundek is in a black market, transacting. Suddenly, Shepek shows up and punches Mundek for selling him a fake ring. After that, the Poldik and Shepek are in the sewer again, hiding their stolen things that they will sell soon. They are casually talking, Shepek is sharing his relationship and frustration about his girlfriend when they hear a noise. They see some Jewish men coming out of the hole to the sewer. They are afraid and shocked at the same time to see Poldik and Shepek, especially Mundek is one of them. The old man bargains and bribes them with his watch, but Poldik thinks it is not enough so, he asks for money in exchange for their protection from the Nazis, seeing this as an advantage to gain more money. After that, the two head to a bar and have a drink. Unexpectedly, Poldik's acquaintance is also there and treats them for a drink as a sign of offering them his help or request whenever they need it. The next day, the Nazis are forcibly taking the Jews, harassing, and shooting them. The woman hurries to their house, worrying about her kids. Everyone is panicking and worrying about their lives, yet Yannick's wife confronts her about that night when he was doing something nasty with Chaha, just on their floor. He then leaves and abandons his wife and daughter for his mistress. Everyone rushes to go underground. Due to the smell, they struggle to put the younger ones, who are afraid, like Clara's sister, Mania, who is frustrated about their situation. As agreed, Poldik guides them. They walk in the stinky sewer and stay there together with a floating corpse. One day, Poldik visits his friend Bortnik, and the guards escort him to his officer friend, who is busy shooting some Jewish people. He lies to him about seeing Jewish people and then goes home. While taking a bath, his wife wonders if there are Jews who survived out there, and they both pity them. In the same night, Clara panics because her sister, Mania, escaped. The following day, Poldik buys a lot of vegetables for the Jews. While they do their own things down the sewer, Poldik brings them food. Due to hunger, they fight over food. Clara asks Poldik to find her sister, however, the man tells her that the ghetto is empty and her sister might be in a camp. Then, Poldik assigns some men to go with him. While on the way, he tells them that only a few can be saved, not even half of them. After that, they discuss it with the people. The idea of choosing who to save causes a commotion. It is a difficult decision to make. Poldik believes they can only save 11, but they insist on adding more and more. Then, they continue to walk through the stinky and nauseous water. Before they go out, Poldik complains to the old man, Ignatza, that the fee he receives is not enough in exchange for helping them hide from the Nazis. As Poldik comes home, his officer friend, Bortnik, is waiting for him, asserting that he has got Jews in their sewers, which he denies. The officer insists on going down there to verify it and their neighbor's complaint. As they go on their way, his friend reminds him of the reward they can get from their government for every Jews and hopes to catch them. In the sewer, the Jews are preparing their food. They hear a noise as another officer is startled by a rat. Poldik is too nervous as they walk into the sewer. They reach where he hides them, but luckily they do not join him, they allow Poldik to check it on his own. One night, when Shepek is having a fun dinner with Poldik and his family, he accidentally mentions the watch from one of the Jews. Poldik's wife, Wanda, is a little shocked that he is helping them and feels upset that he got his money from doing that. Meanwhile, as others are sleeping peacefully, Yannick and her mistress, Chaha, are having a blast again. Making loud and heavy breathing that makes some of them disturbed and aroused simultaneously. The next day, Bortnik comes while Poldik and Shepek are eating in a diner. He is upset that other officers have found a bunch of Jews under that sewer. Poldik pretends to be upset about the money they could have gotten and assured Bortnik that they will get the others. When in fact, he is worried about the Jews. He rushes to go check them in the sewer, then Shepek decides to back out, as he is unwilling to die to save them. Poldik reached the sewer, he hurries and finds others dead. Mundek is mad and blames him for leading the officers in their place. After some of them are killed, some manage to escape. The rest are distressed about what happened, which causes Yannick to get triggered easily by the noise of the children and a man who prays aloud. Meanwhile, Poldik and Shepek check the sinkhole to see if there are Jews down there. They are gathered together before bedtime when Poldik comes with blankets for them. Then Ignatza tells him about the jewelry he hid as compensation instead of cash. Poldik comes home to his wife, excited to show her the jewelry pieces. He promises her a better life, yet Wanda changes her mind as she realizes where it is from. Meanwhile, when other people are still sleeping, Yannick and the two other men steal some money and weapon from their people and escape. As they all wake up, they notice their missing things, which infuriates Mundek. 
Suddenly, Poldick came curious about what had happened. Mundek blames him because the officers found some of them, it urged the other to escape. Poldick came to return the jewelry as an act of withdrawing from their deal. Given the accusations and betrayal he received, he does not want to risk his and his family's life to save them. Yet, as he turns his back out of frustration, Mundek attacks him, then he walks out. In the same evening, Poldick and Shepek are conversing while walking home. When Shepek mentions her girlfriend being pregnant, Poldick jokes about not being the father, making him furious, and they wrestle. The next day, as they lack supplies, Mundek goes out to get them something from outside, when suddenly some guards notice him. But then, the guard is suspicious and is about to shoot him when Poldick enters the scene to protect him, ending, they beat the guard to death. But still, Mundek accuses him as a traitor. That night, Poldick and another man enter the sewer. Suddenly, he hears some noise, he sees the two kids who got lost and returns them. After that, he offers the old man to continue their deal and gets the jewelry. When Poldick is buying some food, the next day, the vendor talks about those innocent people who are hanged and suffered, including Shepek, for the death of a German soldier, which they killed the other day. He grieves for what happened to Shepek's, but his wife feels otherwise. As they hear some sound in the sewer, they immediately hide and attack the man who runs off, shouting that he found the Jews. Right on time, Poldick is on his way. He helps them to move, to escape, and change their location. They go into a narrowed hole, where Chaha struggles to push through and later reveals that she is pregnant, making her feel sorry, especially in their current situation. Poldick and Mundek go back to get their things. Along their way, they see the dead bodies of Yannick and others. Mundek opens about his plan to go to Yanovska camp in the hopes of seeing Mania, for Carla's sake. So, Poldick accompanies him, the old man who can help him go to the Yanovska. Poldick returns to the sewer and is shocked as he witnesses Chaha trying to give birth quietly despite the extreme danger of being caught by the noise they will make. Luckily, she successfully gave birth to a boy. Then Poldick tells them that Yannick, the father, is gone, making Chaha upset, and lose her mind. After that, Poldick told her wife about it. She wonders what to do with the baby and thinks about adopting him and making it look like their relative's child. Poldick, who is about to tell them about her wife's plan, came back in the sewer and was greeted by terrible news. Due to depression, Chaha killed his own baby. They are all disheartened about it, and Carla blames Poldick again. Meanwhile, Mundek succeeds in going to the camp. He finds and persuades Mania to come back with her sister, but she insists on staying there. After that, he comes back to tell Clara about it. Carla is surprised by him as she is taking a shower, and instead of feeling sad about it, she lets herself be indulged by Mundek and satisfy their sexual desires. The following day, Poldick distributes everything he is about to sell to them. When he sees that the girl is sick, he lets her sneak a peek and breathe from the manhole and see the street. Then, the old man and his wife tell him they cannot pay him anymore. Poldick seems to have a change of heart. He instructs him to use his money instead, to pay him in front of everyone to avoid them from thinking that he is doing everything for free. One night, Poldick and his family are disturbed by Bortnik, who wants to drink more. While assisting his friend, his daughter accidentally mentions the Jews, which angers him and causes him and his wife to argue. It is raining during Poldick's daughter's communion, which causes him to worry about the Jews underground. He rushed to check them even before the communion ended, making her wife angry. While on the way, he sees some officers planting some mines, then he protests against it. He goes down the sewer with other officers who trust him as he is a sewer worker. Suddenly, Bortnik discovers what he has been hiding there, he feels betrayed and shoots him, but Poldick continues to look for the Jews even when he is almost drowning. The next day, he wakes up and sees Bortnik, who bumped his head and died. He proceeds to look for the Jews, and finally, he finds them safe. He came home to their empty house as his family left him. But the next day, her wife wakes him up, joking about being foolish and coming back, she forgives him. Meanwhile, they hear bombings above the sewer. After a while, they hear some people, the Russians. Then, Poldick calls them to come out where Poldick and his family are waiting for them. Finally, after 14 months of staying hidden in the darkness, they see the light. People are all shocked as they come out of the manhole. They are all overwhelmed and thankful to be freed at last. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this and to help the channel grow.